Oh, my name? <laughs> Miles Jack, linebacker, M Y L E S, M Y. You don't get asked that very much now, do you? Uh, uh, I mean, people, people still mess up my name, but you know, like at restaurants and stuff. But yeah, it's bound to happen. <laughs> you on this deep on this defense, there aren't necessarily any perceived weaknesses, but it seems like if people are looking at linebacker, that's where there's been some turnover. What do you say to those people to kind of ease those concerns? I wouldn't say there's a turnover, you know, it's just, we're just evolving. I mean, we have guys that, that didn't play as much last year, but are going to make a splash this year. I mean, guys that are going to really make a name for themselves, like Deion Hollins, uh, Kenny Young, Kenny Orgioke, Aaron Wallace. So, I mean, it's, it's not like there's a drop off or anything. It's just guys that are just going to make their own name this year and, and really make a big impact this season. I'm excited for them. Mm -hmm. Is it nice just to get into game week? For sure. I'm, I've been itching for this week for, yeah, since the season ended, so I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. I can't, honestly can't wait till Saturday. Do you have any early assessments of Virginia yet or too early in the week? Uh, I mean, I've been watching film. You know, they have a very fast quarterback, number five. I heard they've been switching, like, in between. We don't necessarily know who's starting, but number five, the one that we watched uh, from last year, he's a very, very good quarterback. He's a runner. Number 25 is a talented running back. He's going to be a challenge. Number four, Taquan Mazzell. They have big receivers on the outside. The tight ends are big. And the offensive line is coming back as experienced. So, I mean, they're going to be a solid all-around team. It's going to be a good matchup. Is there anything that stood out to you about their running back in particular? Um, he's like, he takes, he's going to, he's more than likely to break the first tackle. You know, like, he's not just going to go down with or arm tackles or anything. And he always keeps his feet running. So, I mean, really, we're going to have to gang tackle him more. If you get to him, you know, get him down. And don't don't think that the arm tackle or anything we just gonna bring him down because he's a very good running back, very talented. When you don't know what quarterback you're gonna face, how challenging does that make it for the, this week in preparation? Um, it's not really challenging, you know. I mean, we just kind of, I mean, we have film on both quarterbacks, so I mean, we somewhat know what to expect. So it's no challenge, you know. We're just prepared for both quarterbacks, and whichever one suits up on Saturday, we'll be ready. What kind of challenges come when you start out the season on the road? Uh, challenges. I mean, this is my first road game. I mean, last year we played at the Rose Bowl against Nevada, so I honestly don't know. But, I mean, if you could just stack the obstacles, I mean, we're going across country, uh, three time zones. Uh, we play early for us. It'll be like 9 o'clock. It'll be 12 there. So, I mean, I guess that's some of the challenges. But, I mean, it's, it's football at the end of the day, and we'll be ready. Uh, especially after last year, your success. Like, why do you think more, more teams don't use players on both sides of the ball? Uh, I mean, I honestly don't know. You know, like, my situation was more to, you know, just guys having nicks and bruises and, you know, they feel like I was the next guy going. I mean, when you bring somebody in, you don't normally bring them in to play two positions. You bring them in to play one. So, I mean, this is my situation. I don't want to say I lucked up into it or anything. It's just kind of that's the way everything unfolded, and it worked out. You know, I was successful at it. So I guess that might be it, but maybe coaches are looking forward to it. I've heard news on, like, other people playing both ways. So. Are you? Are you that special or no 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 I wouldn't say anything like that. I mean I'm playing running back so it all goes to the offensive line. I'm just following them and then trying to do my best after that. So I mean they're putting gaping holes on there, all I have to do is run through, so I'm not taking any credit for that. There are other guys who could do what you I believe there are. I believe honestly I believe there are, you know, it's just you know, you have three running backs that you have and you have three linebackers, so I mean if it just comes down to just how everything unfolds, you know, and that's just, that was just my situation, you know, and it worked out. So I'm lucky it worked out. I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> so, yeah. You still going to be playing some running back? Um, it really just depends on the coaches. Me personally, I'm more than willing up to it. They've talked to me a little bit about it, you know, just hinting here and there, but we'll see. I'm sure it'll be like last year where it'll kind of be like a unorthodox kind of <laughs> last minute type of deal. But I mean, whatever they, they have me doing, I'm up for it. You know, I'm just a team player and however I can help this team win. I mean, that's really my goal. Has it gotten a little bit better on that offensive playbook beyond, like, Brett just telling you where to go? Yeah, I've like? learned a little bit. You know, I'm starting to figure it out. I mean, I figured it out. You know, I know the plays and just going against them and hearing Brett call out plays, I'm like, okay, that's that play. You know, so, I mean, I understand it a little bit. I'm not, like, a guru or anything like Brett or the offensive playbook, but I understand what they're doing. So. Have you seen some of these younger players get excited, younger defensive players get excited about playing certain packages like that as well or the opportunity? Uh, yeah, I heard them like kind of joke at it, like put me in, put me in. So I mean, I'm sure you know. You never know what Coach Mazzoni's gonna do. Like last year, I mean, so he could put 
a whole bunch of young guys on there. I mean, there's a lot of guys on here that play both ways in high school that could, that could do that. So, I mean, for sure, it just comes down to Coach Mazzoni. A couple of the ESPN guys picked Brett to win the uh, Heisman Trophy, you guys to win the national championship. Were you aware of that? What's your... I wasn't aware of it, but, I mean, that just goes to show what we have here. And really, we just have to take it week by week. I mean... We believe that we can do it, you know, and I think that's really all that matters, not the outside noise or anything, and we just have to take it when we got the time, and, you know, that's really what it comes down to. We just have to win our games and do what we're supposed to do and make the most of these practices and become the best team we can possibly be. If the expectations were about here going into last season and way up here, <laughs> does it feel any different? It, it definitely feels different, you know, I mean, it's... You can close your ears all you want, but you're going to hear, you know, what people are saying about your team, and you're going to come across an article here or there, or just turn on ESPN and hear them say good stuff about us. I mean, we're aware of what what the expectations are, you know, and it's, it's it just goes to show what Coach Moore and his staff has brought here, you know, but we just have to uh, uphold it, you know, and just live up to that standard, you know, and it really comes down to us just again, making the most of these practices and trying to become the best team we can be. With that talk so prevalent, does it help that you're finally two game week where you can focus on yeah. one opponent and don't have to worry about? For sure, and not think about the bigger picture. We can start, you know, simmering down on just Virginia. You know, that's all we're worried about this week. That's all we're talking about. No other teams matter, and we're just focused on this one game, you know, because you lose this game and everybody goes away, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're just focused on Virginia, and that's it. That's all we're worried about. You had the uh, 9 a.m equivalent start time for Nebraska last season. What did you learn from that that you can apply to the early start this week? Um, I would say that, you know, Coach Moore, he's having us practice earlier than usual, a little bit earlier, and we're just getting acclimated to just time changes like that. I mean, it's really just a time change, just waking up early and getting your body started earlier. That's pretty much all it is, you know.